How's it going, guys? Uh, got all your emails and comments and stuff on uh, wanting to know how to make this little little bench flash set up here. So I figured I'd make a video real quick, show you how. Um, it's really really simple. Um, I'll post. Uh, I'll put this up on um, on um, Google Drive, and that way you guys can download this but um it's just it's pretty much just three wires um you got your your uh three pins from the obd2 port uh pin 16 5 and 7 and then pin 3 1 and 43 and then pin 62 on the ecu side um, but you just wire the connectors together pretty much um all it is is just the um, I'm pretty sure this is the small connector. There's two connectors. I'm pretty sure it's a smaller one from the ECU, uh, from ME 7.5 ECU. Uh, what I did, I just went to the junkyard and cut this out of a car. Um, and same thing with this OBD2 connector. I just uh, cut it out of a junk car. Um, and this is not just limited to V-dubs. You can do this with like pretty much any OBD2 vehicle. Um, but um i've also got mine set up on uh two switches uh the schematic here is just set up with one master switch right here um but the way i've got mine set up i've just added uh, another switch on this pin uh ignition pin 62 so um it's like you know you got your battery on and this is like cutting the key on um and that way you write your tune to it and then key off it, it simulates like being in a car um and this box is you don't have to have a box or anything you don't have to have anything at all um this is just something i found and it just happened to work so you know i went with it um but uh you can see here's another one that i made uh to do uh clusters to program uh instrument Volkswagen instrument clusters and Volkswagen and Audi instrument clusters uh, as well as the body control modules um, and it's just the OBD2 port um, I'll show you um, it's just you know you just find the pins that you need like for instance the the K line on here um, right here it is you just find which line is the you know the communicate the, the, the CAN bus line um, and it just, which is this, happens to be this green one here on the OBD2 port. Um, and you just find it, you know, uh, which would be pin number seven. Uh, and, you know, you just find which one it is and solder it together. And, you know, then you do your power and your ground. Um, you know, you can see here it splits off to the connector that way and back to the OBD2 port. Um, and the only other thing you'll need is just like a, uh, a one or tw a 12 volt DC uh, power supply, at least one amp. Um, and it's nice to uh, put a fuse in line with that too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just let me know what else you want to see uh, or what else you want to know. Um, I've got a, a few projects going on. Uh, I've got a Turbo LS Fox body. Um, it's my personal car that I'm getting ready to, to finish up here soon. Um, I've also got uh, a couple of these uh, little 212 Predator methanol motors I've been I've been building. Um, so we're getting ready to have some fun with that. I also got a, a Silverado SS that we're doing a BTR Stage 3 cam and uh, pretty much the engine rebuild uh getting ready to put the motor back in that so yeah um just uh give me a like guys and uh let me know what else you want to you you'd like to see thanks